Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's jump over to the social district to get there. We're going to be jumping. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I went to the wrong thing. We're going to be going to, where is it? Travel menu right there. And we are heading to the house of oddities. And once you get there, you're going to spin around, head out the door and just out here, head up this direction. And just over here, you're going to be finding a new NPC, Taito Taco. Let's talk to him and see what he has. So we've got a little shop here, Taco Day Shop. We've got a thing for dragon crystals. There it is right there. There's the Taco Axe. And ooh, there's a pet you can get, wicked. It's just a little taco. That is cool though. And ooh, another one. Same thing. Oh no, that's way different. Whoa, look at all those eyeballs. Doesn't really look appetizing. Then you have the taco you're just holding that taco in your mouth oh my goodness well i can see why they call that tasty please tell me you're not eating it oh thank god and then you've got the taco commander okay oh that's clever i like that and we have the shoulders well you can't really see it but it's a taco on the back and you get oh you have a oh i like that of course you have to get the jumpsuit and that, that's actually, that's not bad. You could be a taco superhero. You get a bow. That is really neat. And taco daggers. Because you have to have the daggers. And of course, a bobber. You get a taco bobber. Look at that. That is so cool. Now, everything here you can get with these things. You just need the tacos to get all these items. Now, how you get that, I don't know. So let's check here. All right, we need the Taculus Seasoning. All right, there we go. That's the tacos right there. So this is the list of what you're going to need, including this thing right here. Now, that you get from the boss. But to get the taco meat, you're going to be needing these three things here. You're also going to be needing to defeat him so you can get the taco shell. Now we're going to be going through all the quests so I can show you in detail. This is all the stuff. You can just buy these for dragon crystals if you don't want to waste time getting all that. You've also got a quest here and let's see. Oh, this is a daily. Oh, and you get two token, uh, two taco tokens. I should be specific. So this is every day and all you have to do is take on the boss. I am going to grab that and I am also going to grab this one here. We'll start actually, you know what, since I'm going to be fighting the boss, I might as well grab this one first. There are several bosses that spawn in this area, so it's going to take a while until you get the right one. But hopefully, do I need these? Oh yeah, I already have them in the bank. There we go. We finally get the boss. It took three bosses before it spawned, so that's not too bad. Bam, there we go. Took that one down and I completed. Did he drop anything? He didn't drop anything. Okay. So we'll turn that in, get the taco shell. And we're going to get our free tacos of the day. Grab that. There we go. Next thing we're going to be needing is the taco meat. So we're going to be grabbing that quest and then going and jumping to Heartwood Forest. So we're going to take out the Heart Wolf and see what he drops. So there we go, we got one of those. So that's what gives the gaming meat is the heart wolves. Oh, come on. So it's not a 100% drop, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. There we go, finally got all five of those. Now we're gonna be heading over to the turtles and we're gonna be taking those things out and you accidentally dropped the meat and now it's ruined. Oh, dang it. So they're also not a 100% drop, but okay, there we go. Got one of those. So the next, we're going after the green scaly meat. To get that, we're gonna have to jump over to Green Guard Forest. And we're taking out the frog zards in this area because they are the ones that have the item you need. There we go. I just need one more. And there. So we completed that one. We'll jump back over to the House of Oddities. 
and we're going to turn this one in next is the oh no we already did that so we have that as you struggle to open the chest huh what's going on you hear something from within what is going on i had no idea what was going on as i saw this thing talking uh, it turns out it's artix he's right over here and he is hosting a small event look at the size of that chest that is huge and there we go finally it took a while to finally get that thing down holy cow i got the wings awesome and i got the live event coin so there we go wow that is great that was the one thing i was hoping to get was the wings let's check it out there's the wings right there i'm gonna go and put that on with a set so i can continue doing the other stuff so we're gonna have to grab the next quest which is not that one this one here so let's jump over to that you know what while i'm at it i'm gonna grab this one right here as well because that's the final one i need and we're gonna jump over to green guard forest i have to do the mamazard challenge because that's the one that is required you have to kill the mamazard which you need to get to the right wave that the mamazard is on which is wave four i believe there we go. There's the Mamazard. So we got to get the milk. Now, I don't know how many times it's going to take. Let's find out. Wow. It only took one time. Hmm. I don't know if that was just lucky or... And then we need to take out these guys right here. For the next, we need to get one more. And booyah. There we go. That one is now complete. So the next one is to head to... Green Guard Forest. It turns out that it's the Grove Stalkers, which makes sense because it did say leafy green, but I was not really sure. I was just looking for basically anything green, but it just, it turns out it's the Grove Stalkers. They don't take too long to take down, especially in Green Guard, so. There we go. Shred and Dice completed. Jumping over to the House of Oddity, spinning around and heading back out the door. So we get to turn that one in and we get some cheese and then we turn that one in. We're getting some of that stuff right there. So we've completed all of these. We could make the taco, except that you're still missing one last ingredient. This one right here. Unfortunately, this is dropped by the boss. There we go. Finally got these seasons. So that actually took a while. Well, it didn't take a while. It took three different kills. So I have everything I need to craft myself a taco. Because now I have three of those, which is very nice. Craft that takes 30 seconds. Now, I'm not sure how long this shop is around, but this is a seasonal shop. So you will be able to get the other stuff. So you won't have to rush to get it. But anyways, I hope this video helps you guys with this thing. And I'd like to thank the members of the AE Federation who helped me with the information for this video. So that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.